My name is Rainer Debusmann. I am project manager at Plötz and Seller. And, uh, I would like to show you what else is new in Symbio. We integrated, let's say, part of project management uh, options into the system. So this facet project will be new in the version 1805. Yeah. Let's jump in the projects, what's what's possible and uh, what's our idea behind that. Yeah. First of all, you see we have a category like project in here and we have several hierarchy levels. That means you can choose how many levels you uh, want to maintain, how many levels of projects. I've chosen three, and the first level could be named Project Portfolio, second level Building Projects or Prince 2 Projects could be uh, renamed uh, Project Program, and underneath the programs we have the real projects, like this first one here, Extension of the University Hospitals Bristol. So I prepared the part of this. Uh, example I like to show you and if you're in project management you see we are following the Prince 2 philosophy here and uh, have some project phases like starting up a project and initiating a project managing a stage and so on uh, and I prepared some project activities uh, underneath this first project phase starting up a project and let's have a look first at these. Perform the requirements analysis might be one of the first steps to do in the project. And what we want to do is not only describe what a requirement analysis is, but to give some, some guidelines how to perform these requirements analysis. So in the description you find text like this uh, following requirements have to be analyzed, uh, project sponsors, requirements, staff requirements, or requirements for a particular part of the project. So this might be a guideline for the person who has to perform this analysis. What else do we see? We see some responsible person, in that case, John F. Project, of course and uh, an author. So this is quite similar to what we are doing in this uh, process section. We have, of course, a status. Uh, so this is a released uh, process activity and it's valid one year uh, with the creation date and so on, the release history. So. These are informations you might need, you might know already, but for project management, we need, of course, some more. I will show you an example in the next phase, initiate a project. Now, the project activities, let's say, missing for the moment, but I will insert one to show you what information can be maintained in the detailed content. Uh, let's say one of the first activities could be develop quality a quality management strategy. Uh, we have one of these activities, and of course we start. Well, it might be with an ID. Uh, you could uh, could add an ID to each of these uh, project activities here. The name is maintained automatically and the description could be uh, the quality management strategy should comprise and we have some bullet points beneath that, yeah, something like that. Or maybe sorting is an interesting field. Um, if develop a quality management strategy should be the first activity in this phase, we could give uh, this order number first 
here, we can define a responsible, in that case again, John F. Project, and the author, that's me, I'm uh, here as administrator. And if there are additional authors, you can add them here. Next interesting thing might be the, the filters, because develop a quality management strategy, well, maybe not the best example, but maybe this is just uh, relevant for the compliance organization in, let's say, Boston. Yeah. So we could really refer to an organization that is responsible for this development of the quality management strategy and the location. These two criteria could be used later on up here in filters. I will show you how that works later on. So you set the filters in this detail contact uh, content and you can use them up here for your search. Status, of course, uh, when I start this project activity is in the status in process. Uh, and start of validity should be maybe next week. And uh, it should run until 11th of uh, June 2019. The reason is this is a new activity. So we could track what happens. Yeah. Um, in each version of this project activity. So this is our first version, and there might be some more versions. Next interesting thing, when should the activity start? Let's say next week. Uh, and the end date could be by the end of July. But the effort is not uh, 35 days. The effort is just 10 days for setting up this quality management strategy. Uh, so we have the duration and the effort. Here, the milestone is quality management strategy setup. And we have one responsible role. And this responsible role might be uh, the project manager. He's responsible for that. So you see, this is the responsible role in your project, not the person. The person we added up here as responsible person, John F. Project, he is, let's say, the, the owner of this project activity, just like a process owner. Yeah. We could add some inputs, outputs, we could add some risks, requirements, standards, however, and we could add an attachment. Let's say you have a certain template for quality management, and I have it here on my desktop, a quality assurance plan. I can upload it here, and it's related to this process step or project step. Uh, the accountable organization might be compliance again. We had that before in the filters. Uh, so you see we have a lot of uh, relevant information in the detailed content concerning this project uh, activity. Uh, okay. Next thing I can do is, if this is okay, I could start our workflow to change the state. You see, we always start with in process. Yeah? And that's me, the author, as administrator. I will change it to ready for release. And the next thing is that John of Project has to confirm that. Yeah? The author just uh, can start this, this process and the responsible person has to accept this change. So let me just log in as John F. Project and do it. There you see here my task board. I will find a task, uh, workflow, approve, release, 
and it's about developer quality management strategy. Yeah. I can accept that here, and from now on, it's valid for my project. Yeah. The version is released. Yeah. So you see what we can do here is you can build up the entire structure for your project yeah, with phases and project activities in a graphical view well just let me go back to the to the route to these uh, project extension of the university hospitals in bristol in a graphical view it looks like a work breakdown structure you have this project node at the top, you have the faces and you have the activities. So what we see is definitely a work down, uh, breakdown uh, structure, work breakdown structure. Uh, that's possible here. And it's the first step, let's say, on our way to integrate project management options into Symbio. Yeah. Because the the uh, aim is not just document the phases and the project activities and the project programs here. Uh, the aim is we want to to bring this feature of Symbio to your everyday life. So the thing is uh, we have to make it executable yeah. because this is the basis for your work in a project for instance, as project manager or as a team manager in this project, we have the basis here. Yeah? We have defined all uh, phases and activities. But the next step will be make it executable so that it can work with all the data you maintain here. Yeah? But this will follow in the next version of Symbio. This is what we can do by now.